help me uh, as far as NCSA and the process goes. At what age or grade is it best for parents to begin seeking assistance that NCSA provides? Yeah, I think that's a really good question, and I get that one a lot. Um, I'd love to say, hey, you know what? The best age is you know X. Um, it doesn't always work like that, and the reason I say that, John, is it really does vary sport by sport. I mean, if I take softball as an example. We are the ones that are leading the charge when it comes to early recruiting, um, which I hate to say, it pains me to say that, but that's the reality compared to, you know, a swimmer that may not necessarily be heavily recruited till junior year. I would say, you know, in a perfect world, um, middle school would be an awesome opportunity to take advantage of the resources education, but a lot of families that we work with do come on anywhere between freshman and junior year. Not saying that we don't work with families that come on, you know, to the process senior year, um, but I would say that that opportune moment would be, you know, definitely high school. If that's where we've made that decision, we need to go full force at it. And you guys cover all the sports, correct? We do. So I, we actually work with 29 different sports, believe it or not. Okay. Now there are some things that parents can do prior to engaging in CSA to make the process a little easier, whether it's capturing video or documenting progress. Is there, what can they do to help speed yeah. up the process once they're engaged with you? I think it's a really good question. So initially how the process works within CSA, John, is that um, families will reach out to us with interest. And then also, um, you know, we will have opportunities where we'll be partnered or we'll be at an event and a student athlete will fill out a free, pro free profile and request more information. So it does work, you know, both angles that way. But I would say the best way that a family can prepare for what we consider uh, an evaluation phone call with the recruiting coordinator right off the bat is, A, do your research on the process, meaning you know, make sure that your student athletes committed, have some statistics prepared. Um, I always think having video footage is helpful. I don't think it's necessary, uh, you know, necessarily a must because we understand that some of the kids that we talk with freshman year may not have that varsity film, you know, that a football coach might be looking for. Mm -hmm. So having some stats, but also having a conversation with your kid early on and figuring out what is it that they want in a college, you know, at least starting to have those conversations of, what are some potential major choices or, you know, what locations would you be open to? Or, you know, are you only open to the division one level? Because those are the conversations we want to have initially on the upfront to really make sure that the student athletes we're bringing onto our network are qualified and committed because the college programs that we work with are expecting that the student athletes we're working with are committed and qualified as well to compete at the next level. So I think that's really important on the upfront too.